Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pan and zoom your camera when you're using it in Share Factory on your PS5. So if you're trying to add like video commentary or something like that, well, you can crop it pretty much just to your face. So let's go over somewhere and add commentary to it. So you can see I got some commentary there. We can press L3 and we can see exactly where it is. Then press X and let's go to Add Track 2. Now, what we want to do under here, uh, before we get recording, press triangle. And then here's my giant bald head. You can see maybe I got a mole on there somewhere you can look at. But under here, we want to press square to edit it further. And then we have the option for pan and zoom. So this is pan and zoomed at 226%. I'm going to bring this all the way out. So this is my room. You can see Bart Simpson up there. Um, a softball I hit over the fence when I was playing for the first time, my video plaques for Your Six Studios and Your Six Gaming, and a bunch of other things. Well, I can zoom on in somewhere. Uh, there's Tom Clancy over there. I was reading his book, Dead or Alive. But we can move right in on my head. So let's get a good spot of that. Make sure we can all see that. All right, good. So this is 300% zoom, and I may be like, three feet away from my video camera so it does zoom in quite a bit all right so i'm gonna zoom in out just a little bit and 226 percent was kind of decent and i can move it down so now what we could do is just press x under here and make sure uh we have a normal kind of uh, layout here as opposed to a white screen a green screen or a cutout now if we go to cutout you can see it's just going to cut out my head and then we can like uh, camera tune it a little bit more too. And then we got the backdrop. So uh, I'll just do this because I can. Let's go to the star. So yeah, you can do something like this. Ah, uh, it's funny. <laughs> but you might want to do like a camera tuning too, where you can edit like the sharpness, contrast, the hue, the saturation. So if your room isn't exactly how it should look, let's go back to this. I can't stand this. A backdrop. Uh, we can delete the backdrop now. All right, and then uh, let's do the settings. Uh, you got uh, feathering and radius under there too. So you got a lot of different options on here. Now I don't want to do the cutout. Let's just go back to normal. So go to the camera tuning too, and uh, just increase the saturation. So I got the the blue back here. I got to make sure it's about equal on the screen as it is behind me. It looks like 0.5 isn't really uh, the best. Maybe like. 0.7 is kind of accurate right about there do the contrast contract maybe a little bit darker like 0.4 and up this to 0.3 and then press x to confirm yeah the red is looking a lot better here on my camera so you can definitely uh edit some of the stuff around the camera before you start recording then you can come back here press x go to uh, record video and start recording so this is me making a share factory video on the playstation 5 for you guys now I'm gonna stop this and it's saving the commentary. And I don't know if my mic is gonna work, so I can press L3. Once I get back to the normal timeline, I can see, okay. There's my video right here. All right, so I can hear the audio, it's working, looks good. And then I can press uh, square to go to edit track two. And then uh, maybe I want to have this full screen or something like that. I'll just show you guys how to do that too. We want to go to PIP layout. And then we can make it full screen, side by side, offset, swivel, center, top left, top left. Or we can do one of these options right here. So I don't know. Maybe we want to do side by side. I'll back up. Just go to the edit options. And you can see everything for track two that we can edit with the camera. So let's press square again. PIP setting, filter, layout, we can change the clip volume, move the clip, trim the clip, flip the clip. Or you can add the backdrop in there. Here's the PIP settings. You can make, uh, I don't know, get a different color blend in there. Display frame. We can do a, a yellow frame. And then we can back out. And just make sure you confirm everything, otherwise it's not going to save. I always do that. All right, let's go to this. Press X to confirm, press X to confirm. All right, and then we should be good. And there's a slight <laughs> yellow around that. <laughs> but hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up and 
subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on USA Studios. Thank you.